Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video of our 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan. This, like most of our vehicles, is a wheelchair and mobility accessible van. I'll get right to the conversion. This is a side entry manual ramp and door. Very easy to operate, very low cost to maintain. These ramps are spring assisted. You can see I can pull this out. I've got the weight of it on my index finger here. Very easy to do. I tell our customers if you can lift half a gallon of milk up off the ground, you can operate one of these ramps with ease. 30 inch wide ramp, 56 inches of room coming inside the van, 58 inches of headroom inside the van. You see the tie down tracks, we do give a free set of pull tight tie downs away with each van. They are brand new Q-strain tie downs. The rear seats, very clean, got seat belts for three back there. You have removable passenger seats, you could actually put one chair up there, a second one back here so you could actually hold up the two wheelchairs at a time. Headliner's got a little bit of dirt, a little bit of stains in it, but overall pretty clean. Not a bunch of holes in it or anything like that. Dash is in good condition. I see a few small spots where they may have put a, a CB or something right there. Uh, we bought a load of these from a, a Phoenix a company in Phoenix. They use them for uh, commercial vehicles. So they're from the south. They're not all rusted out. Got our hookups on the uh, radio there. A little bit of wear in that driver's side armrest there. And I hope you can tell by our videos, we're trying to be honest and fair as we possibly can about our vans, trying to show you everything we know about them. We get everybody back and secure. Put this back up, very easy to do. Slide your door shut, and you're ready to roll. Uh, the exterior of the van is very clean, it's got tinted windows. Brand new tires on this. Don't even have 10 miles on those tires. As far as the body, the paint still shines. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's very nice, been very well taken care of. It's hard to find a dent or a scratch on here. I'm not saying there's not a single dent or a scratch, but I'm saying it's been well kept up, well taken care of. Auto check shows a clean title, no accidents, and miles are actual. Give you a peek up there at the roof as well. Everything looks good. On the interior, I'm a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors in this van. Got the dual glove boxes there, plenty of room for storage. We've got receipts for the tires, we've got receipts for uh, left and right lower control arms with ball joints, uh, left and right sway bar links, they also replaced the serpentine belt, and idler pulleys in this van. So, you know, you take this over to shop, probably about $1,500 of work we put into this van. Uh, we inspect them, we've got three mechanics that work for me. We don't try and make them perfect, but we do inspect them and try and make them good running vehicles. You can see the current mile is 164, 167. Two sets of keys, the dual climate control. There's no check engine light on, no airbag light, none of that. And we've tested every window, the heat, the air, cruise control, power mirrors, power locks, power windows. Everything on this van works. Now let me pop the hood here so you can listen to it run. Underneath the hood has a 3.6 V6 engine, it idles smoothly. No signs of any damage, no signs of any heavy leaking. No signs of any water damage, nothing, you know, nothing like it's been pulled out of a flood or anything like that. And as I crawl underneath the van, you'll see much of the same. It's not all bent up from an accident. And that's the number one mistake people make when buying a used vehicle, they assume things. They assume because it looks nice in pictures, they assume because it's a good price. They assume because the salesman was nice to them, you know, they assume it's a good van. They assume it runs and drives good. And unfortunately, about 80% of the time, you're wrong. And uh, a lot of these dealers, they don't even show the undercarriage of the vehicle. The reason being, they buy these up from New York and Chicago and up in the Rust Belt. And they sell you rust buckets. They're going to have a bunch of problems with them. A lot of them won't even pass inspection in your state. And you tell me, if you buy a vehicle out of state and it won't pass inspection in your state, guess what? You can't register it, you can't drive it. You have a whole list of problems on your hand. Hands, uh, you know, people get burned on the internet every day. Don't be one of them. If someone's gonna ask, you know, try to ask you to pay thousands of dollars for a vehicle you've never seen that you can't crawl underneath, tell them to get off their behind, tell them to get out and make your video. And if they won't do it, then who are you buying from and what are they trying to sell you? You know, buyer beware. On this driver's seat, you see a little wear here. Okay, someone stitch it up. A little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of, it's a little rougher there, but overall the interior is nice, the van's nice, and again, I hope you can tell I'm trying to be as honest as I can about this van. So let me get it out on the highway so you can hear it run. Okay, final portion of the video. I always like to get the vans out on the highway. 
give them some gas so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift, and you know that whether we uh, ship this out affordably to you, which we can help arrange affordable shipping anywhere in the lower 48 states, or if you come in and drive this van home, we've done our due diligence, we've made sure this van is roadworthy, and most importantly, we're being honest with you about what we know about the van. So, got to about 67 miles an hour there, got the cruise control set about 65 runs and drives smoothly down the highway and I know there's a lot of people out there selling mobility vans keep in mind we have an A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau uh, on, our, on our Google reviews we had 4.8 out of 5 stars last I checked and on eBay we have over 700 reviews all of those are positive the 700 people said we did them right zero people said we did them wrong so you know when you're out shopping from someone a stranger on the internet or a, a different dealer you know we're not all we're not all the same we got a good reputation for a reason you know, if you buy from a dealer that's got a bad reputation, or you buy from an individual you don't know what you're getting, you're likely going to have some issues that they didn't tell you about. Also, I know a lot of these dealers online, they have a real nice price, and they have all these hidden fees they don't tell you about. Whether it be a document fee, a tag fee, administrative fee, document fees. You know, we don't hide things from you. And my question to you, if someone's going to hide money from you, if they're not, not going to tell you the actual price on a van, what else are they hiding from you? Are they hiding an accident? Are they hiding a title issue? Are they hiding mechanical issues with the van? So... You know, just be aware of who you're buying from out there. People do get burned on the internet every day. Make sure you're not one of them. Uh, if you want to call and talk to the competition, you're most, off, uh, most likely going to talk to a used car salesman. If you want to give us a call, you can talk to me. I'm the owner. I'm going to be here five years from now. I'm going to be here for ten years from now. And a lot of those used car salesmen, unfortunately, all they care about is the, that commission check. They don't care if you get the truth. They don't care if you get a good deal. They just want that commission check. So if you want to talk to the, uh, a used car salesman, give the competition a call. If you want to talk to the owner, give me a call. My name is Jeremiah, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. If you're more of a text messenger, give me a text, 316-518-4377. You've now got the owner's cell phone number. I want you to ask the competition. I want you to ask a big company like Freedom Motors or someone like that. Tell them you want the owner's cell phone number. Tell them if anything goes wrong, you want to be able to reach out to the owner and talk to them. See if they care about customer service enough to give you the owner's cell phone number. Let me know how that works out for you. Uh, keep in mind, we have financing available. We can take an application over the phone. We can send one to your phone or for your email. So let us know how we can help. And see our entire inventory at www.mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call me today.